to get started i have already opened my browser and i have searched for visual studio code so i'm going to click on this first link which is download visual studio code depending upon your operating system you can click either linux mac or windows so i'm going to click on windows once you have successfully downloaded the visual studio code setup file double click on the visual studio code user setup file so you should be able to see a pop up something like this in order to install this particular visual studio code so what i'm going to do is i'm going to accept the agreement and then i'm going to click next now select the appropriate location in order to get this visual studio code installed and then click on next i'm going to click on next i'm going to click on next and then i'm going to click on install finally okay now i have successfully installed my visual studio code i am going to launch my visual studio code so i am launching my visual studio code i have opened my visual studio code now okay i am going to search for shoot cloud extension so this is the plugin which i want to install which is called as shoot cloud extension for visual studio code i am going to click on install and in the meantime let me just check what are the prerequisites oracle jdk version 17 and vs code version 1.70 or higher than that but i don't think so i have my oracle jdk version 17 installed on my windows so i'm going to install this particular oracle jdk version 17 okay i also i got the message saying java is not installed on this machine so i have to install this oracle jdk version 17 to run this suite cloud extension for visual studio code successfully so to download jdk 17 i have searched for jdk 17 my browser so i'm going to click on this java downloads and once you reach to the java downloads page click on jdk 17 and then click on windows i am using windows so i'm going to click on windows and from windows i'm going to click on x64 installer and i'm going to download this jdk 17 installer file after successfully downloading your jdk 17 run the installer i'm going to install the jdk 17 version now So I have successfully installed my JDK 17. Once you have successfully installed the JDK version 17, restart your Visual Studio Code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Control Shift P to open the command mode. Once I click Control Shift P, I can say this Sweet Cloud Create Project, or you can even still search for Sweet Cloud, and you can select Create Project. So I'm going to create a new project on this Visual Studio Code for NetSuite. and select the appropriate folder in your system and then click on account customization project i'm going to create a customization project not this vita project so i'm going to click on account customization project and then it will ask for project name i will provide sweet scripts and i'm going to click on enter i don't want to include any testing framework so i'll just click no right now it's creating the new project structure and there is a pop up now which says projects can be opened in a new window or replace the project in existing window i am going to click a new window let me expand this particular visual studio code to fit the screen and now i can see there is no account has been set up for this project so it says this particular project has not been linked with your netsuite account right so right now this is the structure for this fit load project i can see a main source folder and within that there are multiple folders like account configuration file cabinet i'm going to work on mostly swift scripts now so we'll just expand the file cabinet now i can see another folder called as swift scripts and there is a default file here which is manifest file we'll not worry about that this is mostly used in sdf related purpose so we'll just close this file as of now so as a next step we're going to link this project to our netsuite account i have already logged into my netsuite account and how are you going to link this particular project folder which is in your visual studio code to your netsuite account right so we're going to create some kind of integration between this visual studio code and your uh, netsuite account by using this plugin called suite cloud extension plugin netsuite plugin so i'm going to go back to the project structure and i'm going to click control shift p and i will click setup account So before running this command select a file from the current project folder structure so right now i can see one file which is manifest file i'll just click on this file 
So now I want to click Control Shift P, and I will click Set Up Account. I'm going to click New Authentication ID from here, and then it's asking me to select browser-based authentication, or you want to use token-based authentication. So I'm going to click token-based authentication. It's asking me to enter an authentication ID now. And I'll click enter. Please enter to use the production domain system.nature.com. So right now I have a test account, which is a production kind of account. So I'm going to click enter. It's asking me the account ID. You can usually find it under setup company and under company information. And I'm going to paste the account ID. I'll click enter after providing the account ID. It is asking me the token ID, but I don't have any token ID. I'm going back to Netsuit. If you see, there is a portlet called as settings portlet. And on the settings portlet, you should be able to see this manage access token. If you are an administrator role, you should be able to see manage access token link. So I'm going to click manage access token. So in order to create some kind of access token in Netsuite, there should be an integration record created. So I'm not going to waste my time in creating the integration record in Netsuite. So instead, I'm going to install a bundle called Suite Cloud Development Integration Bundle. So I'm going to navigate to Customization, Suite Bundler, and search and install bundle. And let me search for Suite Cloud Development. And I'll click Search. And the first one which says Suite Cloud Development Integration and the bundle ID is 245955. So I'm going to click on that. To be frank, I have already installed this particular uh, Suite Cloud Integration bundle already in my account. So still I'm going to click on Install. And if you see the preview of this particular bundle, it is going to create an integration record. So I have already installed this particular bundle and both the versions are same so i'm not going to update this particular bundle so i would suggest you to install this particular bundle once you have successfully installed this bundle you can go to home and then click dashboard and just navigate to settings portlet and click on manage access token and just click this button called as new access token so select the application name it will show you the list of integration records available in your system if i just navigate to setup integration and if i click manage integrations i can see a few number of integration records but from the bundle it said it is going to be suite cloud id and cli i can see it has been installed successfully so i'll just go back to the access token part and i'm going to click on application name as suite cloud id and i will leave the name as it is and i'll just click save once you click save you should be able to see the token id and the token secret key please make sure you don't share these credentials to anyone what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this token id and token secret and once i'm done with my id setup or visual studio code setup i'm gonna remove this particular token and token secret so that no one can use this particular tokens okay so i'm gonna copy this token id and i will just go back to visual studio code i'm gonna paste the token id here and I will click enter. Now it's asking me the token secret. I will go back to access token page and copy the token secret and paste it under token secret and I will click enter. In the bottom I can see it says saving the token based authentication and I got a pop-up saying current project was successfully set to this particular account. Now let's go to our suit script folder. So I don't have any file as of now on this particular suite script folder. So I'm going to create a new suite script file called as client script file. So I'm going to click on Control Shift P and I will select suite cloud create suite script file. So the file which I want to create is a client script file. So I'm going to click on client script. The plugin has already provided you the option to select the modules, whichever you need. For example, if you want a record module or maybe a current record module you can just select it's a multi-select option so let me just select few things here like current record and email and i will click ok and the folder i want to store is in subscript folder i'm going to click on that and i'm going to provide a meaningful name for this let's say 
and now i can see the pop up says the file has been created successfully and the file has been opened in my visual studio code so this is actually basic syntax for your client script type so if you see we have selected two modules current record and email module and we have those two modules here by default we have all the entry functions like paginate field change and let me scroll down and we can see all different types of entry points for this particular client script has been loaded here so now let's see uh, how to upload this particular file to your netshoot account okay in order to upload this file i'm going to click on control shift p and there is an option called as upload file circular upload file and there is a shortcut key also for this so i'm going to click on this upload file the file in your account will be overwritten that's fine continue i can see the notification which says upload file has been triggered and there is an error now let me click on the c details so to complete this action stf feature must be enabled in your account so it says you have to enable the circular development framework now let's go back to our account and i will navigate to setup company and then click on enable features and i'm going to click on this particular tab called as sweet cloud tab now i have selected the sweet cloud tab if i scroll down you can see under script script section there are few check box for client script and server scripts so this is required if you are going to create any kind of scripts like client script or server side scripts like map reduce scheduled or sweetlet so it's already enabled if it's not enabled make sure this is also enabled and let me scroll down and here there is a section called as circular development framework i am going to check this check box which says circular development framework let me save this enable features now let me go back to visual studio code and i will close this particular console and let me try one more time now by clicking control shift p and upload file continue upload file has been triggered let's see if it uploads this file successfully now and it, now we can see the upload file has been successfully executed now let me click on the see details button and it says the following files were uploaded and the switch script folder and this is a file name now let's go back to our netshoot account and i'll open the file cabinet right now we don't see any file i'll just click on refresh and now under switch script folder we can see this file which says test client script underscore file dot js you guys can ask me a question like does this visual studio code provide me a switch script api details directly in the ide itself to answer that i have an extension here so if i go and search for an extension called root scripts and there are multiple extensions like switch script 1.0 snippets but i use this sweet snippets so this particular sweet snippets extension provides a lot of options it's pretty helpful so you guys can give it try on this particular sweet snippets extension on visual studio code